there, Kelly Q204 here. I'm going to talk about two Swedish directors from the silent era of Swedish cinema. Victor Sjöström, September 20th, 1800 to January 3rd, 1960. Morton Stiller, July 17th, 1880 to November 28th, 1928. They were both leading figures to bring Swedish cinema to the forefront. Morton Stiller was the one that noticed Greta Garbo first, but I'm gonna focus more on Morton Stiller himself. His heritage is Ashkenazi Jewish. Dillard was born on July 17, 1880. His family moved from Russia to Poland and settling in Finland. Tragedy struck by the time he was four years old. His father died and his mother committed suicide shortly after that. Friends of the family took him in. He became very studious about acting and being in movies. His talent didn't go unnoticed by or that I'm going to butcher the name Holzfinger and Abio. By 1910, Diller was drafted into the army of Nicholas II's army. Instead of reporting for duty, Diller decided to flee to the countryside of Sweden, and he became a Swedish citizen by the age of 27. By 1912, Stiller became one of the pioneers of the Swedish rapidly developing silent film industry. He wrote scripts, acted, and directed short films. Within a few years, he devoted himself to, on writing and directing. Soon, he did start to direct full-length productions. One of his first was Thomas's Ralph's Best uh, Film, 1917. The movie became a critical financial success, and Part 2 also became a financial success. Also in 1912, a legendary producer named Charles Magnusis equipped Morton Stiller and Vector Sjöström. Vector Sjöström directed a movie and Morton Stiller wrote the script of a movie called The Gardener. He directed 44 films. Most of his pictures were related to comedy. He was also well known to be flamboyant in his directing style. Sadly, by 1928, he was diagnosed with pleurisy in late stages, so he ended up dying at the age of 48. Thank you so much for listening slash watching, and it took a long time to get this all done. But anyways, thank you.